I'd like to introduce you to the first of my Photoshop tips videos. They are going to be very quick and simple. Let's get right into it and I hope you enjoy it. First off, you have to create a new layer, Ctrl J, just in case you make any mistakes so you can just delete the layer and start again. Secondly, you go into new layer, create a blank layer and then put a blending mode into color. Once you have that layer created, you just pick your color of choice and then slowly fill in the hair. Um, I suggest you use a brush on low opacity, probably only around 2% to have much more control over how much color you're putting into the hair. Because your brush is on a lower opacity, you can freehand a bit more, you don't have to be that careful with detail because you have to layer the color as you go. Creating an empty layer and putting it on a color blending mode is also a very good way to correct the skin without changing the texture or blurring it too much. If you're not sure about the hair color or you'd like to try something different, you can just create a simple hue saturation layer and then press ALT and the layer below. This way the hue saturation will only affect the layer it's connected to and not other parts of the image. You can also change the color to a bit more drastic to see if you missed any spots because with pink and blonde it's kind of similar so it's very easy to miss certain parts. So by putting it on green I can clearly see what patches I've missed and fill them in with the color. Once I'm happy with the way the hair is filled in, I just go back to pink because that's the color of my choice. And yeah, that's it. Simple as that. Another simple method of changing the hair color is to create a hue saturation layer, desaturate the hair, and then fill the area ends with the brush. I also like to create a curves layer and add little bits of shadows where the shadows are needed in the hair. It just creates a more realistic effect. Next on I go in again with my empty layer and the color blending mode and I add any color where I feel the hair looks unnatural. I hope you like this trick, um, I know it's very easy and some of you might know it, but some of you might not. I learned it a while ago and it did help with um, fixing my skin and hair color quite a bit. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, I would love if you subscribe and please let me know what would you like to see in the future.